Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide mixed numbers. Now, I'll go through one example, which should be helpful for anyone looking for a quick review or refresher, whether you learned this recently or years ago. If you need more help or examples, I dropped links to other videos on this topic down in the description. Let's jump into our example where we have 4 and 3 fourths divided by 2 and 1 third. Now the first thing that we want to do is to convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. That way we just have a numerator and a denominator. Let's start with 4 and 3 fourths. And we start at the bottom and work our way to the top. So we multiply, then add. So we do 4 times 4, so the denominator times the whole number. 4 times 4 is 16. Then we add the numerator. 16 plus 3 is 19. So 19 is the numerator of our improper fraction. We keep our denominator of 4 the same. Then we can bring our division sign down and convert our second mixed number. So again, we multiply, then add. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. That's our numerator, and then keep the denominator of 3 the same, so 7 thirds. 19 fourths is equivalent to 4 and 3 fourths, and then 7 thirds is equivalent to 2 and 1 third. So we're not changing the value of the problem at all when we convert to improper fractions. Mixed numbers and improper fractions are equivalent, they're just in different forms. Now again, we're converting to improper fractions, so we just have a numerator and a denominator, and then we can go through our steps for dividing these fractions, which we're going to use keep, switch, flip. Also known as keep, change, flip. So no matter how you think of it, they mean the same thing. I know there's different words out there for these steps, but in the end, they all mean the same thing. So let's keep our first fraction here, our first improper fraction. So 19 fourths. Then we switch or change our division to multiplication. And then we flip our second fraction, our second improper fraction here. So the denominator becomes the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator. This is called the reciprocal. So we have three sevenths. Once we get to this point, we can multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator, and then denominator times denominator. Let's do the numerators first. So 19 times three, that gives us 57. And then we have four times seven, which is 28. Now that's our answer as an improper fraction. We're going to convert it to a mixed number. So we need to do our numerator, 57, divided by our denominator, 28. Now we can do this using mental math, or we can write everything out. Some problems are going to be a little simpler and we're going to be able to use mental math, and in some situations we'll have to write out the problem. I'll go through both here so you can see what that looks like. Let's use mental math here first. So how many whole groups of 28 out of 57? Well, if you're able to think about that, it's going to be two whole groups of 28 because that gets us to 56. So two whole groups of 28. Now we do not hit 57 exactly. We have something left over, a remainder. So the difference between 57 and 56 is one. So we have a remainder of one and we keep our denominator of 28 the same. Let me write that out as well. So we have 57 divided by 28. So we need to think how many whole groups of 28 out of 57. Well, we said that's two, that gets us to 56. So two, two times 28 is 56. So we get a remainder of one. This two is going to be the whole number part of our mixed number two whole 28 out of 57. And then this one, the remainder is going to be the numerator. And then we keep our denominator of 28 the same. 
Once we get to our mixed number, we can check to see if we can simplify the fractional part. 1 28th is in simplest form. The only common factor between 1 and 28 is 1, so we are done. 2 and 1 28th. So there you have it. There's how you divide mixed numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.